In part B, we're given that the coefficient of x squared in the expansion 1 plus x then is 55. Given that n is a positive integer, find the value of n. Uh, so in the first instance, we need to write down what the expansion of 1 plus x to the n looks like, and this should be learned. It's 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial x squared. And there's no need to go any further because we're only interested in the coefficient of x squared, and we're given that that is equal to 55. So n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial is equal to 55. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is just 2. So multiplying both sides by 2 gives us n, n minus 1 is equal to 110. Uh, expanding the bracket, we get n squared minus n is equal to 110. So n squared minus n minus 110 is equal to 0. Um, this is a quadratic that does factorize quite nicely into n minus 11 n plus 10. So this generates two values of n, n equaling 11 in this bracket and n equaling minus 10. However, in the question, it stated that uh, n is a positive integer, therefore n must equal 11.